Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back everybody. Good to have you here. Um, Tesla does not have it. But Aptera has it. And Aptera is actually advancing it for use on an automotive vehicle. And yes, we're looking for it for when Aptera comes out. But um, Tesla, they were gonna use it. And I guess you're all wondering what I'm talking about. The Aptera has solar panels that they put on their car that they're using to recharge their batteries in everyday life. Uh, but what happened with Tesla? Um, they were going to use it and it was a good idea. But some people, you know, when he said he wasn't going to use it, he they uh, took it upon themselves like this guy. He added um, solar panels. He got three solar panels, 120 watts. Uh, that he got from Blue Eddy to charge his Model 3 using a 2 kilowatt power solar generator to charge his car which you can get for $3,300 off of Amazon however he was only getting about 6 miles a day which is you know you might as well go ahead and take it home and plug it in the wall if you wanted to get that but even if you use your 120 or your 240, you get much more range for that. But in 2017, Elon Musk wanted to add solar panels to the Model 3, which to me sound like a perfect thing to do. Solar panels on the EV is an excellent idea. You won't have to worry about charging it, uh, or at least as much. He was going to make that as an option, but then, he turned around and said, it's not that helpful because the actual surface of the car is not that much and cars are often inside or they don't get direct sunlight all the time. He said the least efficient place to put solar panels is on the car. I think he should have at least kept that as an option and let the consumer make that call. Because, I mean, we're the ones that's actually going to be buying the vehicles. Because the sun provides more power to the earth than we can use in an entire year. And that's the entire earth consuming energy. Well, in 2019, he said that it would be an option to add solar power to the Cybertruck. That could generate 15 miles per day and adding fold-out solar wings would generate... 30 to 40 miles a day. With Elon, you have to take everything with the, he says with a grain of salt. Because that was three years ago, and the Cybertruck is still nowhere to be found. Of course, he could use something like this, solar panels that fold out origami style, uh, and cover a wide range of area. But of course, you can only use that when the Cybertruck is parked. But we're still going for efficiency here and at least some solar uh, array is better than nothing. Something that's going to actually add power to the batteries. And Elon Musk did come out with a design that he may use. Uh, this design right here on the trailer. I mean, this is a pretty big array right here that you could fold out and get a lot of solar energy from the sun. Uh, which could probably power the cyber truck for about I uh, give you 30 40 miles of range uh, if you're going camping that's still a lot more power than you'd be getting if you was just parked out in the woods somewhere uh, of course you're gonna lose some energy by towing this I mean this looks like it weighs at least uh, about 800 to 1200 pounds maybe I'm guessing uh, but still, with that solar array, if, especially if you do like to camp a lot, uh, you're getting a pretty good amount of solar power. So, the only other thing would be, how much more is it going to cost uh, to buy one of these? Um, you could be looking at $15,000, maybe $2,000. Uh, and uh, a lot of people are going to buy it. There's a lot of people that love Teslas. Now let's go to Aptura. Look at what Aptura is doing. They not only have solar panels, but it's not an option. 
you get solar panels with their vehicles and they are advancing its durability its efficiency the panels that are actually curved they're curved on two axes and they're still making this solar panel efficient for the Aptura vehicle that is a game changer that is awesome this is something that I thought would never come to fruition but it is Aptura is making it happen and they're making each panel better and better which each process they're doing steel ball drops they're doing sun simulators they're doing hail testing environmental recycling so um, they're going for the most efficient car that they can ever make and Aptura is not gonna they're not gonna fool you they're gonna deliver what they promise they're producing 10 solar panels per car a day they're actually trying to produce a million solar panels so that they can keep up with demand. Look at all the panels they have done. So if they started in September, just imagine that. Right now there would be enough solar panels for 380 cars and that's today. And these panels, they're last for 15 to 20 years. So by the time these panels wear out, the efficiency on solar panels should be much more improved. And no doubt, since the panels can easily be removed, we would want to um, exchange out for better panels to get you know our batteries charged faster. So what do you think about that? You think that they're making a good deal? That they're proceeding the way you envision them to proceed? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, but Aptura is really... Uh, I mean, they're going to be a game-changing company once they come out. Uh, this is one company that you do want to get involved with. They are proceeding on schedule. And I do see them coming out in 2023 with their first vehicles. But I know that once they launch, once they come out, that they are actually going to really dominate the market. Everybody is going to want one of these vehicles. Uh, of course, you know, they said that they were probably going to come out with a three-seater, which is awesome. And uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. So if you want to get involved in this, uh, here's a link that you can use to um, get at least $30 off or the down payment, which is, you know, $100. So you, you just have to pay $70. But I thank all you guys, all my patrons. Yes, we all want free power. Uh, we're getting sick and tired of paying all this money out for stuff. But if we can get something where it's for free, you know, that not only helps the community out, the earth out, uh, but the environment as well. And that's what we all want. Well, you guys, you have a good one. You guys are awesome. Keep supporting my channel and I'll come out with as many vi videos as I can. This is not easy because I already have a full time job. But Aptura is something that I'm keeping my eye on because I know they're going to do a lot. All right, you guys take care. Have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Uh, don't forget to smash that like, ring the bell, and subscribe. All right, you take care. Bye-bye.